Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, the morning after, and uh, what a day. Um, yeah, what a match really, I mean, that, that Mbombela Stadium is becoming something truly special. Um, I think actually, to be perfectly honest, that the fight might be between, you know, a Durban or a, a PE for test match, because I think that Mbombela will become a staple. I don't think you're going to move away from that, that atmosphere. They just get it right. The crowd knows when to cheer, how to cheer, how to respond to the players. The stadium is electric. It's, it's nice and close. You feel like you're on top of the, uh, of the field. It's just phenomenal and an incredible match as well. So, yeah, five stars for me. Um, I think looking at the performance, you know, retrospectively, I think the main thing is you just felt like the box were never going to lose it. You know, they, they, I mean, they felt like our team were never in the game. The pressure, the, the continued sort of squeeze we had at all times, I don't think I've ever seen a Springbok side with so much control um, over, a, over a game. And also one of those games where you just can't really think of anybody that played badly. So massive, massive to, to win the rugby championship in that fashion and to finally get that sort of the, the monkey off the back of not having won a full rugby championship, for example. Um, massive individual performances, Ches and Colby, what a player, but Moy Liebach as well. Um, Pierce Death Toy, I think we've, Pierce Death Toy Oxen Chair for me have to be right in the running for um, World Player of the Year. They've been playing in just the consistency in which they play, the consistency in which they dominate, collisions, the scrum when it comes to Oxen Chair, um, just absolutely phenomenal. And um, yeah, I think if he continues his form, he could be becoming one of the all time great scrummages. He's just, every time he's in front of someone, that scrum's going backwards. So. Yeah, very, very happy. And now the question is what next? You know, we've got the rugby championship in the bag and we're talking about probably the greatest Springbok side ever. Um, so the question is what next? And that is the end of your tour, obviously, which happens in November. And what will be interesting, actually, now what do you do for the grass to selection? Do you look at bringing a whole bunch of new players in, for example, trying to give more players a chance? You know, something like Nicky Jansen from Rensburg didn't get a chance. It doesn't look like he'll probably feature in the end of your tour, but, you know, which players do you give a chance? Do you bring players like Q and Horn in, for example? You know, Jordan Hendricks, uh, somebody's been talked about a lot given his recent form with the Sharks. Or at the end of the year, is this all about taking your strongest team, getting through your results? You know, as far as I'm concerned, this year's really success. Um, British, I mean, the, the Irish series was, was a bit frustrating, but to win the rugby championship was always for me the bar big goal, and we've achieved that. So, that's done as far as I'm concerned. And then the question is, you know, is the end of your tour, is it, I mean, in, in theory, you go out and get three, but do you want to get out and three? Or do you want to try and rotate, for example, keep evolving the way you play? Um, so it's an interesting one. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, I think final sort of words are just, this team is special. And you hear see Khaleesi, we had a chat with him after the press conference, and he just spoke about Coach Rassi, and he just said, oh, Rassi, Coach Rassi. And I think the main thing is that he really is something special. The way the players speak about him, um, the way that he, I mean, thanks to the media, for example, he's just got everybody on side. He's got everybody aligned. And I think that there's very little that he can do that would ever get him ousted or, or kicked out of that team. So, yeah, from a, from a Springbok perspective, life could not be better. And uh, hopefully, this continues to go from strength to strength. But uh, let me know what some of your, your players were of the, of the series, uh, what you thought about, and uh, yeah, your sort of final thoughts on the Rugby Championship as we go into sort of a month break. Uh, let me know down in the comments below, and uh, we'll see you guys all very soon.